In IEC 60601-1 Issue 3, the energy reduction test needs to be conducted. This test measures the energy consumed by the equipment under test. A passing result will show that the energy to a 100 ohm load is reduced by 10% or less when the equipment is connected. In accordance with the requirements of IEC 60601-2-25 and-2-27, the Compliance West D5P 2011 V2 is designed to deliver up to 70 pulses and the 100 ohm resistor will maintain plus or minus 5% accuracy if the time between pulses is held to 30 seconds. The test is conducted by connecting each patient connection or applied part in turn to the output of the defibrillation test equipment with all other patient connections and applied parts connected to ground. For the energy reduction test, figure 11 is used, so set the Compliance West D5P 2011 V2 for the 25 millihenry inductor value by making sure the front panel jumper is removed. Set the other front panel switches as follows. Pass fail reference, off. Aux output, return. S3, open. S2, off. For conducting this test using the internal energy calculation circuit, the rear panel connectors are empty. If you are going to determine energy by external means, such as an oscilloscope, it should be connected to the energy measurement connectors on the rear panel. These rear panel connectors are only for measurement. The device under test should not be connected here. The patient connection or applied part is connected to the 400 ohm receptacle on the front panel of the D5P 2011 V2. Remember to ground all the other patient connections and or applied parts. The test sequence is to conduct the test with the patient connected or applied part connected, then remove the part and conduct the test on the 100 ohm resistor alone. The 100 ohm resistor is internal to the D5P 2011 V2, so this test is conducted by removing the connections to the 400 ohm and ground connectors on the front panel. Since we do not have any equipment to test, we will demonstrate the test to obtain the reference energy E2 as described in paragraph 8.5.5.2D of IEC 60601 3rd edition. This test can be conducted manually by pushing the charge button on the front panel of the D5P 2011 V2 and then pushing the trigger button when the meter shows 5,000 volts. After the charge has been delivered, the energy in joules dissipated in the 100 ohm resistor for the last pulse delivered will be displayed when the energy measurement button is pressed. If desired, this test can also be conducted by using the Compliance West TestMinder software for use on a 32-bit Windows computer. Select the Compliance West TestMinder icon open it and enable the energy measurement. A dialog box describing the test will open. Read the directions and click OK. Then click on the auto trigger button and press the yellow charge button. After the voltage reads 5000 volts, the pulse will be delivered and the energy is displayed. To set up multiple tests, type a test description title and serial number in the provided boxes.
You can save the test results to an Excel file by pressing the Select File button. Enter the file name and press Open. The next step is to set up the multiple test parameters in the open window. For more information on this step, please consult your TestMinder manual. Multiple part tests are initiated by pressing the start button. Results of the tests can be displayed as shown. Here is a demonstration of a computer controlled test showing both the computer and the D5P 2011. Thank you very much for watching our video.